This video is presented by Trax WA, Training Centre in Subacute Care. A voice prosthesis is a soft silicon device that's inserted into the tracheoesophageal fistula. You can see in this diagram here that it's a surgically created fistula that sits within the tracheoesophageal wall. So this is the front of the voice prosthesis that you can see when looking directly into the patient's stoma. And this is the back that sits in the esophagus when it's in situ. The voice prosthesis has a one-way valve at the back here that allows air to travel through for tracheoesophageal voice production but remains closed at all other times to prevent leakage of saliva and fluids into the airway when a patient's drinking. You can see in this diagram, when a patient blocks off their stoma, usually by using their thumb or finger, air is directed through the voice prosthesis, which opens the valve door. The air then travels up through the esophagus and the pharynx, and it's the vibration of these tissues that we hear as tracheoesophageal voice. This voice is then shaped into speech using the articulators. The patients in the video were both using a low pressure voice prosthesis, but there are a number of different types. Some that the patient can change themselves on a regular basis, and others that can only be changed by a trained clinician. And these can stay in anywhere between three to 12 months before they need to be changed. Trax WA would like to thank the staff and management of Sir Charles Gardner Hospital for their involvement in this project. This project received funding from the Australian Government.